So here's a question. Is there such thing as a truly hail-proof roofing material on the market? Today we're gonna find out. What's up guys, Mike Ivan here, your roofologist, coming at you from HQ here in McKinney. And today we're gonna to be testing out some roofing material called Euroshield uh, that claims to be hail proof. Now, this is an unheard of warranty, so I had to see it for myself. So, well, the testing that we're gonna be doing today was with our Hail Razor Cannon. We have a ballistics chronograph set up. We're gonna be delivering a two inch ice fall at between 95 and 105 miles an hour. We're also going to be doing a Class A fire test. Now, this particular material is only Class C rated, but we're going to be a big boy UL Class A test just to see the wherewithal. And then we're also going to be doing a wind speed test. Now, this material is rated up to 170 miles an hour, but we're going to be delivering wind with the most powerful leaf blower on the market at 220 miles an hour. All right, so the way we're doing this is I have a two and a half inch ice ball mold. And what I'm going to be doing is putting it in an ice ball press that's going to compress it down to two inches and allow us to deliver it through the cannon. And what kind of test would it be if we didn't do a full send test? So we are double the PSI, which should be equate to double the speed. Let's see what happens. All right. And in, let's see, we got um, 64 PSI in three, two, one. 183 miles an hour. It hit there. I think I may see something. I may see a an imperfection, or it could be uh, the the beginning stages of a of an impact. But uh, hail doesn't fall at 183 miles an hour. So uh, again, impact rated. All right. So the next test we're going to be doing is the wind speed test. Now, this particular material, the type we've been shooting, the Vermont slate in the Euro Shield, is tested at 170 mile an hour. Which I would argue you have bigger problems at 170 mile an hour than your roof. But this uh, unit right here, this leaf blower right here, is the most powerful on the market. The Echo PB 9010T, uh, and it was loaned to me by a good buddy of mine, Stephen Rogers, with LawnmowerMan.com, uh, to do this test. So what we're going to do is strap it on and see what this stuff can do. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it on the seam right here. This right here has these, this edging right here that goes into this slot. So it really shouldn't lift because unlike shingles that are laid over top, this actually has a channel that it fits into. So I'm gonna hit it all in this area right here, avoiding these areas, because obviously these are subject, these are weaker areas where it can lift. So here we go. do is for failure purposes I'm actually going to shoot it in the side to just show you the difference between it actually being adhered and if it was like a shingle laid over top. Ready? So that's going to be a failure but it's also an incomplete system. As you can see this whole system all together with these with this edging in the channel this thing's not going to come up. 100, 170 mile an hour rated I just hit it with 220 and it's not going anything. So, wind rated. All right, so the last test we're gonna do today is the Class A fire test. Now what you have here is a UL spec 12 by 12 three tier pallet of uh, spruce wood. And the idea here is that this uh, pallet needs to burn completely through down to the char before it burns through the material to the deck. Now this is also fanned by a 12 mile an hour wind. We're gonna measure that. And so I put a little bit of accelerant on it to, uh, to get this thing going. And uh, we're gonna see how this goes. All right, so per UL specifications, the fire here has to be fanned at 12 miles an hour, which we have our handy dandy meter here. Come on around, you can see that we are at 12 miles an hour, 11.9. All right, just a little too close to the flame, but we're right around 12 miles an hour, give or take a mile an hour. So we're gonna let this thing burn, and at the end of it, sweep it off, kind of see what the uh, what the material looks like. Again, this material has a Class C fire rating, 
which is essentially 25 two inch by two inch smaller pallets, which have a lot more surface area. They burn a lot quicker. And so this test is really, I would argue is the industry standard. Uh, but again, we are dealing with recycled truck tires. So when you're dealing with recycled truck tires and that stuff burning, it really melts out of the way. And I have a feeling that it's probably going to burn through the deck. So we'll see what happens. All right, so now that the fire's out and we don't have any smoldering uh, embers or anything like that, there's no billowing smoke. Um, as you can see, it, we completely burned off the Euroshield material to, to the point where I actually set fire to my, uh, to my box here. During the fire's in most intense heat, we actually saw that the, um, the rubber material here actually turned uh, kind, of a, kind of a powder consistency, uh, turned white in these areas you can see. So ultimately it was a fail, um, but this is a class A test. The material is not actually class A rated, it's class C rated. So it does have a fire rating, just not the test that we did. All right, so now that we've done the testing, let's talk about the materials. Euroshield is a Canadian-based manufacturing company that has been producing recycled rubber roofing material since 1999, over 20 years, which I'm, I was admittedly surprised when I heard that, just thinking as though I've been myself uh, involved in the industry uh, for going on 11 years, and I've only recently been introduced to these guys. I saw them, they had a booth set up at one of our trade shows recently. I stopped by, they said they had some hailproof material, and I had to see it for myself. Because in our industry, there's a lot of classifications, UL, class three, class four. These are impact ratings, but the impact ratings don't actually warranty you from any damage that is caused under that warranty. This product right here, or at least this particular line of their products, is completely hailproof. Now, Euroshield has five lines separated into two styles. So here we have the Ranchland Shake, the Beaumont Shake, the Rundle Slate, the Vermont, and then the Vermont HP. The HP is for hail proof. So this is the only line that they have is completely hail proof, but it is completely hail proof any size of hail, which I thought it was really incredible. And ultimately that's the reason why we had to do the test we did today. So when it comes to Vermont, as I said, they have the non hail proof and I'll leave the HP, which is hail proof. Now what, that, what this actually looks like is that the standard HP is gonna be a little bit thicker uh, as far as the material because of how the backing is constructed, and I'll get into that in a second. So this also comes in four colors, uh, the black, gray, brown, and driftwood. Um, the matting on the back of the HP is really how they're able to get that hail-proof quality. As you can see, we got large cavitations, which this ultimately allows them to make it appear or be thicker uh, in construction, but ultimately this being so flat, having just minor striations, I'm sure for the support, uh, that's how they're able to achieve this, this hail proof. So hail proof, any size, which I think is incredible and ultimately the best protection that you can have on your home. And definitely one of the greatest functional features of this material is the locking front edge. And so all of the material has this protruding edge that then on the material below it locks into the channel and helps them create that 170 mile an hour wind rating, which we hit this stuff at 220 and it did not even flinch. So for any homeowners out there that may have houses that back up to water or large fields and really want that security of, of having some wind uplift resistance, uh, this is definitely a material that uh, you should consider. So in the shake style, we have the Beaumont and we have the Ranchland Shake. Now the Beaumont is gonna be a 40 inch wide shingle, uh, whereas the Ranchland Shake is gonna be a 36. Uh, the Ranchland Shake is going to be much thicker. Uh, both of them are really designed to have that simulated wood look. Um, used to be hugely popular uh, cedar shakes. There's still some out there. This would be an ideal candidate for a homeowner that is looking to re-roof a wood shake roof, but wants to retain that same that same simulated look. So these particular shingles, all, all of these shingles come in four different colors with the exception of the Rundle Slate. They come in black, gray, brown, and then driftwood. And so ultimately, if you are a homeowner looking to retain that wood look, this would be an ideal candidate, and especially considering the recycled rubber and the fact that it's class four warranty. Still not the HP, but really good protection. All right, so the Rundle Slate, I wanted to do kind of in a, on a spot of its own because I feel like it's a big boy and it deserves a spot of its own. But this guy right here, 36 inches wide, three tabs, essentially, three pieces of slate across Again, comes in three different colors, comes in black, gray, and brown, Does not is not offered in the driftwood. But guys, look at the thickness of that shingle, or that tile. And coming on the back, I mean, even, even with large hail, even though this is only class four rated, with the, with the striations and supports in here, I think it's gonna stand up to some pretty heavy stuff, heavy stuff. 
Well, guys, in conclusion, I think that the tests we did today uh, really speak for themselves. I think that Euroshield is a great material. I think the performance is outstanding, and we definitely at Nimble Restoration will be promoting this product to our clients as a last roof scenario. Uh, I imagine that there are a lot of contractors in the marketplace that would steer clear of this material or materials like this uh, for the very reason that we want to promote it. You know, the fact that they may not presumably get that roof again, get to re-roof that roof again by putting a cheap shingle on there or something like that. But ultimately, uh, we here at Nimble want to deliver the very best and the material aspect of that is a big piece of that puzzle. So if you live in the great state of Texas, uh, that is our main service area. Nimble Restoration would love to help you um, get into the last roof that you will ever have to install. Give us a call 833-NIMBLE-1 and we look forward to helping you out.